Yellow. Good morning. How are you? Uh, pretty good. How's it going? I'm good. Hey, listen, I was skimming through, <laughs> and I saw you were talking about abortions, mm -hmm. um, and I overheard what you just said. Can you explain to me what you mean by there is no connection? Um, and it's it's uh, the mother's right to abort the baby at any time because that's their body. Yeah, I believe in total bodily autonomy. I think that you um, have a right to your body and a right to the resources that that body creates. And unless uh, given express permission, nothing else has a right to those resources. Okay, do you realize, oh, sweetie, that that body created that baby? And yes, yeah, the I baby don't, I don't think you have alone. an obligation. I don't think you have an obligation to something just because you create it. I don't think you have a moral obligation to another human being. Um, well, you have a moral obligation, but hold on, Jovan. They, you have a, a moral obligation when the baby is feeding off you to live. Yes, no, you do. I, I disagree. That the, baby is one hundred percent part of you. Disagree. Um, you would have to prove to so me why wh why something has why you have that moral obligation. Well, come on, that's just facts. That's no, just human no, it's it, no, it's not. You're you're saying well that it just is because it is. But you've got to give me a reason why you now have the no, 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 no. to this but, this uh, entity just because it's inside. Because of you. the baby is, because the baby is feeding off you. I, you're not, see, it, it kills what, what me when mean? men come up here, and the baby every. I could eat maybe like three bites of food, and that baby is getting the nourishments of that food. If I were just to say, you know, I'm just done. I don't want to. I don't want to take care of this. How do you think the baby grows? It How doesn't. Do you, do you think it just sits in there? It doesn't grow. You don't oh, want to be pregnant never any, grows? You don't want to be pregnant anymore. So you 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 do what you can to not be pregnant. What is no, what does this mean? No, the baby grows for ten months. The baby okay. grows for ten months, sweetheart. My mom is an OBGYN. I I'm know, not saying the baby doesn't. More than, I'm not saying the baby doesn't men. grow for ten months. Are you kidding me here? I'm saying that you, as a person, do not have a moral obligation to this this creature just because it might live inside of you. You can't prove a moral obligation other than saying it just exists, right? There is no obligation to this other creature, and you, as a human, yes. have a total right to your own bodily autonomy, right? You have total right to that. And if you decide, I don't want something inside me, you would have to do all the legwork here, not me, to prove that because it's it's in you, you have to provide for it. You have to do the legwork in this. So you have to prove why it has a right to your bodily resources. Do you realize how silly you sound? I don't do you sound silly. When, when someone goes in, when someone goes, okay, for instance, this is a great example. Peter, what was his name? Who's the guy that, that uh, murdered his wife and... And two kids are uh, his baby. Uh, what about Peterson? Him? Okay, he. Do you do you remember what happened with him? She was pregnant. Mm hmm. A baby was inside her. Yes, he got charged with first degree murder and second degree murder because the baby was over Thank twenty-eight you. weeks. Yes, you it get charged. Matter. Yes, it does because in other cases where this exact same thing has happened, if the baby is younger than twenty-four weeks, typically you oh, get charged you with. Thank you. Typically, you get charged with unlawful termination of a pregnancy, not murder. So try another one, lady. Like what? Come on. I do. I I research this shit for a living. You're a man. You're not an OBGYN. You okay. may research things. Okay. okay, I'm a man. You that means nothing. I haven't researched anything. Okay. You know nothing? No, okay. no, 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 that's not true. Would you no, like no, to talk to a woman? I, I can easily bring up a woman that agrees with me. Would you like no, to talk no, no, to a no, woman? No, that, no, no, no. What kills me <laughs> is when people think that it's just okay to, to have sex, which is, you know, hey, two, it works both ways. 5% chance of sex. getting pregnant. Hang sex tight. Sex equals with a five, sex, to a 5% have, chance. So okay, I don't know why people tight. always bring that up. Okay, hang tight, have sex, ha create a beautiful baby. You create a fetus. And then decide and then decide that they are going to just, you know, eh, I think abort it. I feel like You I, think you think people just like I wake want. up and decide, "Hey, I'm going to abort it." You think people just wake up and like the first thing they do There's is There's no reason to I'm abort gonna, it. I'm just going to abort the fetus. There's no, re you Unless think there's no reason topic, to abort a fetus? There's no reason to, why would you need to abort <laughs> a fetus? You think there's no reason? 
You, I thought you said your mom was an OBGYN. Why would you need to? I thought you said your mom Why was an OBGYN. You is Why your mom an OBGYN or not? Wait, wait, wait. Is she your mom is. an OBGYN? Yes. Okay, so Why then you, you know that there are plenty of medical yes. reasons besides an ectopic pregnancy where you would need to have an abortion. You should know this. What? What are you talking? Give me a couple. <laughs> give me a couple, Mr. Know-it-all. Give me a couple, Mr. Know-it-all. Sure, give me a second to pull up my fucking list, dog. Oh my god, I can't believe. If you're, if you're if you're if you're such Mr. Research, you should know them off hand. Oh my hand. god, sorry, I don't know them off the top of my head. Wow. And by the way, up topic is very low. It is very low. I'm not and even there talking are actual about ways. Ectopic, well, I am, because that's one of them, sweetheart. Great, great. <laughs> I just think it's disgusting that you guys think it's okay to abort babies when you're just you're done. And I think it's disgusting that you think that people who have like sentient beings should be forced to suffer for the sake of beings that have no sentience or consciousness. That's what I think oh is disgusting. My gosh. I oh, think that's disgusting and immoral. It. So who's to say your morality is this right is and my morality is wrong? Right. There this is, is what, like, I'm doing with. what? So the baby has no feelings, no nothing. She, no, baby's... not prior to 24 weeks. It doesn't because the cerebral cortex hasn't formed yet. It physically does not have feelings. It doesn't have the capability to have feelings. Do you realize when the baby... Have you really done your research? Sure have. Okay, at conception, sweetheart, the DNA forms. We're not talking Hold DNA. On. We're talking feelings, lady, not on. DNA. What Hang the fuck? 23 chromosomes from the man, 23 chromosomes from the woman. Great. From that day on, as much as you guys think it's a parasite or it's just a piece of clump, is wrong. I think I'm it doesn't have personhood it. until consciousness and sentience start to develop, which are at 24 to 28 weeks with the I have consciousness and personhood. So uh, the me is here, but if you take away my consciousness, I'm just a body. I literally just a body. There is no oh, sentience me, or personhood in me. It it makes me really sick to think there's 376 people in here. Oh, here she is. Bell, 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 where's your list? Where's your list, Bell? This lady said the only reason for medical abortions is ectopic pregnancies. Where's your list? I've no, been I did not say it. that was the only. Yes, you reason. did. You know, you're putting words That's out. exactly what you said. Absolutely you said there's no reason to have an abortion if it's not an ectopic pregnancy. I have it recorded, lady. It's recorded. Javon, I said there's no reason other than an emergency, and the only thing I said that was what I said, and then I said ectopic. I did not say there's no other reason. That's not what you said, but okay. Yes, it is. I'll play the whole clip back. Don't worry. Go ahead. Play you it. want the list? Yeah, where's the list, Bell? I got it. Just pulling it up. I thought I had saved it on my on my source document, but I didn't. I would think you guys would know this right offhand. There's a no, lot of them. Uh, there's How we're gonna keep a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> but again, to, again, just to make my point again, I don't really care about about whether something has fucking DNA. I care whether it has personhood. DNA doesn't equate to personhood, like at all. Yeah, I got it. So uh, there's abnormal progress of pregnancy, which is when a pregnancy doesn't appear to be developing on normal course, uh, a non-viable intrauterine fetus, intrauterine fetal death, premature rupture of membranes, placental separation, fetal abnormalities, fetal congenital birth defects, such as spinal bifida, encephaly conjoined twins, severe heart, uh, Fetal heart or kidney abnormalities, maternal exposure to harmful agents, maternal medical conditions, uh, card cardiovascular diseases, renal disease, preeclampsia, cancer, and intrauterine infection, and then obviously um, those are all emer pregnancy. emergencies. And you, and go look <clears throat> up the percentage of those. Go look. Yeah, it up. doesn't matter. They still have. Very, it does matter. They're very low. I mean, They're in very, Canada at least. Like I don't know about your American statistics. No, actually, I don't know about your statistics, but in America or in Canada. 10% of abortions are due to medical necessity. I'd have to look that up. I don't know anything about Canada. I have no idea about Canada. Sure. But are you I have abortion-free really legal amendments. <clears throat> yeah, One percent is like the amount of pregnancies that are like that. They're but very low. The what amount of I'm abortions of, that are due to medical what necessity I'm going is 10%. Off of, no, what I'm going off of is just deciding they don't, they no longer want the baby in their stomach, Period. And yeah, but that I'm, one that when what people I'm say fighting, oh, one percent of them are like include medical necessity, that's one percent of pregnancies that have like a medical necessary reason to abort it. But ten percent of abortions themselves are out of medical necessity. 
where are you getting your statistics from? 10% uh, the, of abortions are because of medical? Yeah. I, yeah. The Abortion can... Rights Coalition of Canada. Canada. Okay. This mm-hmm. is all Canada, babe. I'm Canadian, so I have Canadian oh, statistics. okay. I gotcha. Okay. I'll look up the stats <laughs> in Canadian America. Five. That. I'm just saying. How, how, how much, much do we want to bet that the stats are fairly similar in America? How much do we want to bet it? Over under 10 bucks. <laughs> womb, womb, womb. What about womb? What? Because uh, <laughs> I said stomach, I meant womb. <laughs> I always, cut, when, my, when my little one would come up and kiss my stomach, I would say, brother's in your, is in mommy's tummy. So, sorry, my bad. Here we go. Reasons U.S. women have abortions. Let's see what Gutmacher tells us. While I look this up, I'll just say again. How doesn't it does like uh, to me the reason doesn't matter. I don't really care why somebody wants to engage in uh, the right to their bodily autonomy. I just care that they have the access to be able to do so. That's where I'm okay. That's what I'm questioning because how I'm reading this is it should be free and it should be Correct. legal for all nine months. What do you mean by that? Though? There should be so no governmental restrictions on abortions. That's off. what I mean. There should be zero governmental okay. restrictions on abortions. So if I decide to wake up at eight months pregnant, I don't want the baby. You're 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 OK with that? Yes, because you can at eight months, the baby is plenty viable that you can have an induction of labor or a cesarean section. So my my goal is that you end the pregnancy. It doesn't have to equate to killing the fetus. It's just ending the pregnancy. So there are multiple means to end said pregnancy. So can you give me a doctor that would do that? Because I don't know of one yeah, doctor uh, that it happens would in not Canada. hang tight, babe. I wouldn't know of one doctor here sure. in, uh, in America. I, I don't know why that they'd would, be different. Oh, hang on. That would that would say, oh, no worries. Here we go. Let's induce you at this point. Do you know That's why? Do you know why? Wait, do you know why you, do you know why you don't... Do you know why you don't know those doctors? Wait, do you know why you don't know those doctors? Hold on. Do you know why you don't know those doctors? Because people don't, because people, right, who are pregnant don't wake up at seven or eight months and go, never mind. Now, if abortions are completely free and legal throughout the whole pregnancy everywhere, anyone that wants an abortion is going to do them early. They're going to get them as soon as they possibly can. Because why would you go through eight months of pregnancy and then, like, why would you go through the stages of finding out the gender, uh, picking it, well, finding out the assigned gender, picking out a name. You would start getting the fucking nursery ready to just go, forget about it. Yeah, and I know you don't want to talk about Canada, but, like, like we can look at the fact that Canada has abortion free and hold on, let me, Canada has abortion free and legal all nine months, uh, and the abortion rate after 24 weeks, which is viability, is 0.67. Okay, so, Jovan, you're, so then, then you're, you're, okay, you're flip-flopping a little, babe. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, because we both, yeah, well, hey, nine months, what states up here is legal for nine months, because I can't imagine mm-hmm. someone waking Colorado. up, I just asked you, if I woke up at eight months and decided to not have the baby, no doctor in their right mind would be okay Colorado. with me inducing my pregnancy, it period, in Colorado. unless it's a doctor that's, okay, that's a dirty, da- dirty ass doctor then, okay, <laughs> that's all you got. That's a dirty ass doctor. I, I have never. Why, wait, why is inducing never. labor a dirty why doctor? Is dirty? Why is that a dirty doctor? You Explain can't that to me. induce. You have to go full. Yes, you term. can. Yes, you yes, can. You can. Yes. What? I literally called under, an induction abortion. Under like, look it up. Doctor, under look a it up. doctor's. Look under it up. A doctor's. It happens. It's literally called an induction abortion. You can look it up. Under a doctor. Yeah, maybe at Plant Parenthood. Under a doctor's supervision. Planned Parenthood doesn't do induction abortions. They're not a surgical fucking facility. Your only hospitals can do this. No doctor that I know doesn't have Planned Parenthood. We still do it. Go ahead and doctors would do that. I want to know the doctor in Colorado. 
Why? Are I've you going to go burn down his house like okay. other pro-lifers or what? I would never do that. You don't so, know why me. do you want to know his name then? Why does it matter? Well, I can look well, I, don't, I don't understand why his name would be conducive to the debate. Oh, he, he's literally saving the fetus like you want. I don't know why it upsets you that much. I've just... No- I've never heard of a doctor that would just induce a pregnancy because the woman no longer wants to be pregnant. They have to go full term. No, they don't. Period. It literally does happen. Unless there's an emergency or unless, obviously, people go into labor at six months. Is the only my, thing my, you have is because you haven't heard of the doctor? Like, is that literally all? No, what are you talking about? Well, never yeah, the only the only argument you're giving is I haven't heard of. I just have a I just, have, of, I, I I just, have, a, I just have a really doctor, important like, question. Okay. I have a really important question. Why do you think it's wrong to induce labor? <laughs> By the way, yes, she is. Um, what do you? Uh, what, at what term? Could be why? Cut, why? You've got to let the baby cook, so to speak. <laughs> so then, can I ask you? Can I ask you what's wrong with so what's wrong with abortions? Time. What's wrong with abortions prior to the fetus developing conscious or sentience? What's wrong with that? Now, by the way, I I, I don't believe in abortions, so you're asking the wrong person. Oh, I'm a, that's why I'm asking you. What's wrong with it prior to conscious? What is wrong? Why? Do, hold. On, let me ask you this then. Why are you against abortion? Because I I I, I it's murder bottom line why do you believe it's murder <laughs> hold on bell i just i gotta go through <laughs> down this line of questioning why do you oh, believe no, it's murder have shower. Sorry, okay though love you you are killing you are killing an innocent baby uh ba- babies are fetuses are amoral and i don't think it's a baby i think it's a fetus oh what's God. so hold this on so wait wait you quick well hold on no uh, i can back every, i've backed everything i've set up you have it so a this is so such a don't it's, tell me i haven't you I haven't, haven't you haven't what? backed up anything I've, Literally nothing. Oh you haven't gosh. backed up a single thing. You just said, I believe and I think and I this. Like, you haven't backed up anything. No. So prior to the conscious state of mind, prior to your the ability to form conscious or sentience, why is it immoral to kill a fetus? I just told you. Did you not just hear me? All you said was Did because it is. All you said Am is I because stuttering? it's a baby. That's not an answer. That's a circle. I said I because asked... it's murder. It's murder. Why is it murder? You're not listening. Why is it murder? You're taking. You are taking... What do you mean, why is it murder? Why is it murder? That's just absolutely ridiculous. I think, think you're afraid to, to say what your real reason is because you know that it has no logical backing. What do you think my real reasoning? Yeah, I What's think... no logical backing? So let, because let, you let guys me... think it's a clump of cells. I never because said everyone... fucking clump of cells, lady. Never once said that. So let's let's dig into what I what I believe, right? I believe that as human beings, the human being part of us, the actual person part of us, doesn't exist until 24 to 28 weeks when the cerebral cortex and the frontal cortex start for, forming their folds inside of the brain, right? Up, up until that point, we don't have the ability to have a conscious state of mind or a sentient state, right? It just doesn't exist. So prior to that, sure, you might be killing a human body, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to kill a human body. We already have precedent for that. That's why we can kill people who are who go suffer through complete brain death because they don't have a conscious state of mind. It doesn't exist. So all we're doing is pulling the plug and letting the body die. So prior to that sentience, I think it's wholly oh immoral. God. I think it's wholly immoral to force somebody who already has that sentience and consciousness to suffer because you believe that these that these uh, you believe. First of all, you believe in the potential of it. You don't believe in that it is a human in- innately. You believe that it will eventually become one. No, so I think it's no, no, no. I didn't say that. Okay, don't then what? What characteristics? What characteristics does this fetus have that that makes it a person? What are the characteristics that makes it a person? I just told you. A person. It's not a. It is a grown. You know what you need. You know what I can do. I can send you tons of videos, which will show you from conception until. I've seen them all. I've seen them all. That doesn't mean it's a person. You can see exactly what happens when a an egg. Do you know how people do actually get pregnant? Yes, the the the, yes the sperm the sperm enters the egg. Then the head of the sperm dissolves, and the nucleus of the sperm enters the egg. They combine, and then the egg starts multiplying. I'm not reading anything, lady. I'm not reading anything. Everybody on my (laughs) Twitch chat can see that Google is up on fucking induction abortion. I just know how fucking I just know how pregnancy works. 
I'm, I'm not yelling at you. I don't understand why you're yelling. This is how I talk. I don't know what to tell you. So as I was saying, after the nucleus uh, forms into the into the egg, the egg will start mul the cells will start multiplying, and then the blast uh, the blastocyst will start forming out of the egg, and that has to attach to the uterine uterine uh, wall, which can take anywhere up to three weeks. Go on. Then from there, it it divides until the rest of the organs start forming. Twenty four weeks, you start getting advanced brain development, and you start becoming viable. And then you all it's Thank not it's know. just constant a, a long line of things after that. I'm just talking about the key con the key tenets of conception, which can take anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks. So, when do you think the heartbeat starts? The heartbeat doesn't matter to me. I could care less when the heartbeat starts. Oh, so you don't care when the heartbeats actually... No, I don't think a heartbeat have you had equates have to you, you being a person. A no, have I've you... never had a child. I don't plan on it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Back that up. Hold on, I want to... A heartbeat doesn't equate to a person? Correct. Or a dog or an animal? How do you live if you don't have I, a heartbeat? As I have said, we How have do people... You live if as you I have, have said... Heartbeat? Hold on. As I have said... We have people whose hearts joke. are beating, but they have total brain death. But machines are keeping their heart pumping. So they still have that, a beating not heart. What we're talking about. No, it's that exactly what we're talking about. It's We're talking, talking about, about. It's, talking about what makes you. Yeah, no, different. it's not. Oh, my good God. We're talking about what makes you a person. So we have people whose hearts are beating, but their consciousness is totally gone. I would not look at them and go, that's a person. No, what they are is a body. Because when we, we know that they're a body, because we're able to legally pull the plug and allow them to die off the life off of life support so when you have a fetus that only has a heartbeat there's no person there it's a body sure but there is no person yet and all i care about is personhood if you do not have personhood why should i value you i'm not rude Oh, I'm shocked. I, my, my whole my whole reason for coming in here was um, I, the way I read this. I mean, I'm floored right now. I really am. Um, but for abortions free and legal, uh, all the way up to nine months. Why I mean, you, you just want, say what you're floored because you're religious. You're floored because you're religious and you believe like inherently all human life is valuable. And I'm sorry, One, I don't agree with that. One hundred percent. Yeah, I know it 100%. is. I know that's. I know. I know it is. But your religion doesn't dictate the way everybody else views the world and the way everybody else's morality works. I never said that. No, but it's what it's what all people I like you do. imply when you start coming in here and going, "Well, this is know. when the human begins, and this is when." When I have told you scientifically, I don't believe a human a human being. I don't believe the person can start until fucking conscious and sentience starts. Other before that, I, it's not a person. Physically, can't be. All I can do is plant the seed, and from there, you guys, you guys Bro. will be judged, not me. Not I me. don't believe I'm, I'm going to be. I don't believe in your God, so, so yeah. no, I won't be okay, judged. And that's okay. I don't and believe in I'm your God. Explain, you're interrupting <laughs> every time I'm talking. I'm not expecting you to believe in my God, and I never started talking about God. You did. No, but when you sit here and go, you people will be judged. I don't think I will be judged. Because I, said, I don't think there is no is any judging. judged. There's, by what? Okay. Okay. What am I being judged if by? You don't if you don't believe in my God, then why do you care? It's all good. What my am I being judged to you by? Was all about my question to you was all about abortion free and 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 legal all up to nine months. Correct. That's all. I mean, really shocked about how it's okay to do that. I mean, I was I've hoping you guys you. were going to say something complete. I've explained it to you. Inductions of labor and cesarean sections are can be and have often been coded as abortions. They are ways a to C-section. Yes, abortion medically is just the evacuation of the contents of the uterus. That's I all it is medically. That. So then you should know that, that when you medically you evacuate cannot... the contents of a uterus, you're, per, you're essentially performing an abortion. So you think because? Oh wait a minute. Oh my gosh, this is new. Hold on. Yeah, actually, I think I heard this on another live with one of my friends. So you mean to tell me, because I had two C-sections, I aborted both babies. I would say I medi medically, by definition, yes. You it had an abortion. Medically and what is this? This is, this is, my you know what, you know what? This is the it other is thing. This is the other thing I hate. I don't, this is the other thing that I hate. I this is the this. other thing that I hate is when people go, you're aborting a baby. No, abortion doesn't mean you're aborting a baby. It means you're terminating a pregnancy. 
Like what? DNC is the same thing. DNC is the same thing, sweetheart. And abortion, I'm not a, a, a terminating anything. The You're baby terminating is being a pregnancy. Birthed. You terminated Period. a pregnancy. Did you or did you not it, terminate a pregnancy? Is the pregnancy done? Then it was terminated. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like what? Are you joking right now? <laughs> You laugh, but you the know, only it, the only thing you've been able to pull out on this is I believe and I feel and this and that. When I've given you specifically why scientifically I think what I think, and all you've been able to say is, well, it's murder prior to, it's murder when it's in the, why? And when I ask you why, you go, because it's a person. I ask you what makes a person. You went to DNA. How does DNA make a person? Are you kidding me i'm really not do you have dna great so do fucking do dead bodies hang tight hang dead tight. bodies also have chromosomes, chromosomes. dead See, bodies also have chromosomes try, sweetheart don't try to make me look stupid dead bodies do also have chromosomes do not the bodies do also have chromosomes they also have them but we recognize that a dead body is not a person anymore but the chromosomes haven't magically disappeared how and why are you comparing a baby to a dead body? I'm not. I'm testing your fucking logic. This is how this works. You say a statement. There is no logic you say behind, a statement, no and we test if stop. You there's tons of it. You say a no statement. Logic. Yes, there, there's tons None. of it. You say a statement, None. and we test to see None. if logically your None. statements are consistent. None. None. You can repeat none. none as many times as you want. You can repeat the shit all day. Doesn't make you right. All, your, all you've said now is what makes you a person is DNA. Tons of things have fucking Siobhan. human DNA. Sperm has human DNA. Eggs have human DNA. Cancer Siobhan. cells have human DNA. But we recognize that if these things die, it's not a fucking, it's not the end of the world. Javon. Javon. If it makes you feel good to make me look stupid, then you do it, boo. You are making My yourself look this way. I'm not, not making at anything. Not at all. Not no. at all. My whole logic on coming in here was to ask you questions because I want to know exactly where you're coming from. Yeah, and I answered them and I you decided to high here. horse everything. I didn't come on like here. you're the moral no, bastion not. of truth in this I am world. Not a moral and you're bastion. not. Uh, no, not at all. It's I absolutely what you did. We have it all fucking recorded, you lady. Are, you are putting words in my mouth. I'm not putting Kill words me. in your mouth. It's the way you respond and the way you act that puts the words there ma'am so you're saying now you're saying i'm condescending is that what you're saying you've been condescending this whole time i have come on here i have come on here to ask you questions about why you're feeling the way you do you have done I've nothing answered them. but bash me i've answered all of them and you have and you have i haven't said you haven't i don't agree with them and there's nothing wrong with that no but, but again it's because bash. you try to morally high road Hang everything tight. Hang tight. With your I little, not with your little, I can't believe you would do, I can't believe people would do this. No, and I'm I can't. actually full, floored. I'm floored. Uh, I'm, I'm, so what? I'm so, I'm so sorry that. you're floored that people want to exercise their bodily autonomy and people don't want to have to be forced into fucking pregnancy and forced into giving birth. I'm so sad you're no floored about forcing. that. No one's forcing. There's other ways. This is what kills. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't say that. They know you said it. This is what kills me. And please let me finish, okay? Because you interrupt me a lot. This is what kills me is that everyone thinks government is forcing you. And I'm sure you're thinking Republicans are forcing you guys to have abortions. I don't know if that's a fact, but that's probably where this is. This is this is kind of going down the road of, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, okay? It's not true. You want to bet? We are not. We are not forcing you to do anything now. You want to state bet? per state. Hang on. Hang on. State per state. That's a completely different situation. Government is behind it. Don't get me wrong. I can't stand the government. Can't stand the government at all. And you're right. They shouldn't be in your home. They shouldn't be telling you what to do. I get that. Morally, I would hope with morals, people would think before just saying. Think of options. Okay, you get pregnant. You're not happy. I understand that. You're young. Maybe it was a mistake. Then you know what? There's options. And that, and that one option doesn't have to be abortion. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, You're bashing someone that came in here and wanted to know your side of the story. I deal with trafficked children 
children that don't have parents, that don't have mothers, that don't have fathers, that have been trafficked all their lives. And yet people want to just be able to abort kids because they just want to be able to do it or they're tired wait, of it. Wait, I'm sorry. What are the That's options what again? I what are the options again? Well, there's plenty of options, all depending on what state you're in. I know California has plenty of them. Trust Such me. As? And we're probably the worst state. Such um, as? You can go there at CareNet. There's CareNets. I'm not talking just ex- any any kind of net or org I'm very, trust me, very leery of, but CareNet out here in California is huge. And they are very well known for taking care of the, the mother and, and getting them up and going. Yeah, it's going to be hard if you're young. Wait, what are your and options it, if you don't want to be pregnant? Uh, you can um, adoption. Always. There's all, there's, uh, so there's you're against human trafficking, but you're dope with like governmental funded human trafficking. That's okay. No, for you. because abortion's not abortion's not um, human trafficking. No by adoption. Any means. So adoption I don't know what you're is talking about. adoption is I mean, you sorry, physically adoption. you physically pay for children, you you sell children. You, That's human trafficking. Stop! You're giving your child to a person to a loving family. There's a there's a process. You're being silly, Javon. You are do being, people being do people pay for silly. kids? If they absolutely pay for another human, that. that's I trafficking. Think I think it's one hundred percent wrong. No, you're being silly. They don't have sex with that child. You don't know. Trafficking doesn't just mean having sex. It's that. it's also the selling of people. What? Come on. Oh my God, Javon, stop! Don't even start with human trafficking Bro. because that's my jam. Don't even go there. No, don't, don't. You're gonna make yourself look really dumb by I going won't, there. I won't actually. You're not selling. You are not selling a baby to some couple that doesn't know what they're doing. There is a process, and it's an expensive, ridiculous, outrageous process. There's a lot of women out there that can't get pregnant, and they want a baby. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a blessing. So let's go back to Period. let's go, let's go back to. No. no hold on, no, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. We can stay on this if you want. Are you paying for another human being? Great. Then you trafficked a human being. End of story. If you pay for another human being, you sold somebody. Oh my. If you have a price tag on a person, you are selling them. That's simply it, ma'am. Do you do you put a price tag on another human? Should I don't Oh my, I'm so sad. This is it. You got to think, oh my gosh. If if it was up to me, Javon, I would take all the children I could. I'm not talking foster either. I'm talking a, a I'll tell you a little bit, okay? My first Oh, I don't want to first Hold on, wait. Can I ask you a question? Before we my get into first, the personal story? My first pregnancy, I had a miscarriage. I had to have a DNC, yes. Was that considered an abortion? Yes, because I couldn't, the baby was no more liable. It wasn't in there. Okay, can I ask you my question now? It killed me. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Can I ask you my question now? No, I'm still talking to Javon, sweetheart. You came in. Javon, do you care about this story? Just let her finish at this point. Oh, no, I'm okay. It's okay. Yeah, ask me the question. It's all good. Just because you were talking about chromosomes earlier, how many chromosomes does somebody need to be a person? Just out of curiosity. I that I have I know twenty three chromosomes and twenty three chromosomes from mom and dad with DNA. Um, mm-hmm. How many? There's tons. Um, I don't know exactly the amount. Um, in order to yeah, the, so there's there's twenty three typically in like a neurotypical person. There's twenty three pairs, um, but there can be chromosomal disorders where people have like forty seven. Okay. Like a whole bunch. Um, okay. Just so, like, if we're going to be placing this, like, chromosomes or what determine a person, I'm just curious, like, how many. I've never said that. Be... I said there's a DNA. Hun, stop. You were talking. You, you said stop. chromosomes. Stop. I heard Jovan talking about. I did. And it's true. Ma'am. Go look it up. You have DNA when you're first. Well, you, the DNA starts at conception. So does the chromosomes. There's 23 chromosomes for a man. There's 23 chromosomes technically, for a woman. The DN- technically, you're get- all, technically, your DNA advances throughout the pregnancy. Like, it's not fully formed at the start. Of course not. It starts. Yeah, I and, just um, said it starts. So I didn't just, say it was fully formed. I said it starts. Yeah, so for identical twins that have the exact same DNA, are they one person or two? I don't. I, that, I, I've never really looked that up because I've never had twins, so I don't know. 
I'm yeah, telling no, you right now, identical twins that have the exact same DNA. Are they one person or are they two? Because their DNA, according to you, says they're one individual. I never said. Yeah, you're saying DNA is what differentiates them. I didn't say that. You guys put words in people's mouths. I never said okay, that. Okay, so about what, what's your point about DNA have... then? What's your point about DNA then? Bell, hold on. DNA. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have oh. a knock knock joke. Uh, so knock knock. Janae, knock knock. No, I personally don't think it's funny. So, what we're talking about right now? Well, the knock knock joke is that somebody paid to boot you. Uh, thirty dollars donations equal thirty dollars kicks, and somebody did donate thirty dollars. Um, who who donated this time? It was Kelly. Kelly donated thirty dollars. Uh, so Kelly wanted them gone. <laughs>